Let's look at an actual use case today. No notebooks, no papers. Let's do full stack application development and let's see how a Gen AI application performs in the real world. We're gonna use a, a setup here for your local pizza shop in your town. It's the one everybody orders from Friday and Saturday night. And you know the scenario. You call them up and somebody comes on the phone and says, please hold. Is this going to be 30 seconds worth of hold or three minutes? So the customer experience isn't great. What if you were able to come to their website, a mobile website like this one, and use an agent to make an order? So on this site, if you hit this agent button here, the assistant button, I'm tapping this on my phone. On screen, up pops the agent. Now I can interact with this agent to make my order. Let's see how we're going to do that. I'm going to voice type using the blue button for voice typing. Then I'm going to hit send and LLM is going to translate my voice to text and then hand that to a large language model. And we're going to build the order together. Let's get started. We'll start by asking about ordering a pizza. I'd like to order two large cheese pizzas, please. I'll send that over. We'll wait for our response. help you with that. Two large cheese pizzas would be $19.49 each, so the total comes out to be $38.98. Would you like to add any toppings to your pizzas? We have a variety of options available, at an additional cost of $2 per topping. I'd like to add pepperoni and mushroom to one and green peppers and onions to the other. I'll send that over. I've added the toppings you requested. One large cheese pizza with pepperoni and mushrooms will be $21.49, and one large cheese pizza with green peppers and onions will also be $21.49. The total comes out to be $43.98 so far. Would you like to add any other items to your order? Now over here on the right you see the menu. From pizza to dessert, from wings to calzones and to side salads, Gina can handle any of these items on the menu. You can ask about any of them. She will track the line item and she'll track the cost. The next step here I'm going to do is just add a soda to that. Could I also have a two liter bottle of Pepsi with that? Now you don't have to speak perfectly. It's going to be able to interpret it. be happy to add the 2 liter soda to your order. The price for the 2 liter soda is $3. So the new total comes out to be $46.98. Would you like to add any other items or are you finished ordering? I'm finished ordering, thanks. I'll wrap it up. taken note of your order. To confirm, you would like to order two large cheese pizzas with the following toppings, one pizza with pepperoni and mushrooms, and another pizza with green peppers and onions. You also requested a two-liter bottle of Pepsi. The total cost for your order comes out to be $46.98. Could you please provide me with your telephone number so I can confirm your order? My name is Jim and my number is 212-555-1212. Now we're keeping a human in the loop. They'll call me and confirm. Thank you, Jim. Your order has been confirmed. We'll get that ready for you. The total comes out to be $46.98. We'll deliver it to you free of charge. Enjoy your meal. Goodbye. So that wasn't too bad. I do think there are some things we could work on, though. The timing between the send and the actual avatar response is still a little lagged. It is uh, could be due to the VPN, right? This setup I'm using to record, the way I'm doing the uh, the phone, it's uh, it's mirrored. It's using a VPN to be connected. This is over the internet, so there's a there's a lot of layers of software there. But as we go through the code, let's look for ways to improve that. Let's see if we can't 
shorten the, the turn time between the LLM lookup, the sending of the text to the avatar service, and the streamed response. I think we can improve on that. So that's it for now. Look forward to going through the code on the next one. We'll see you then.